His name... Merlin. What's going on, nomads, party people, and strangers everywhere across the internet? My name is still V, you know like the letter, and welcome back to the Tuesday Reviews of Merlin Weekly. Where today we're talking about Season 2, Episode 7, The Witchfinder. Plot summary... A witch finder is called into Camelot because somebody sees Merlin bumbling with magic in public. Again. Why should I, I be shocked about this? Why should anyone be shocked about this? And how is all this gonna turn out? We'll all find out after we watch the episode. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I already watched the episode. So that's just the whole summary in general, but here are my thoughts on it in general. It's probably the one of the three best episodes of season two, or series two if you live in the UK area. And here is why. First step, it's because it actually has a villain that although bumbling about it in a very candid and shyster type manner of uncovering the main character's whole nature and trying to put him on full display and actually giving a real life dilemma where only the main character can have a solution. Not an outside force of any kind, not the dragon, not any sort of tome, just the main character's own strength and weaknesses being clashed together to try and find a solid solution with this entire problem using intellect his own techniques, and so forth and so on, to save the day. Another thing that kind of points out really well in this episode is just how much I actually hate about Uther being portrayed very well throughout all the actions that actually have real-life repercussions for the rest of the show. Kind of like from how I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys that want to watch the episode, but a certain character feels very betrayed by the actions because Uther's own words and dictations betray his own actions and motivations that he's been trying to build up upon since the series has begun. Where it's an all-out war against magic, yet throughout every single crossing and turning, he's always been manipulated and deceived for whatever really crosses his path, and it doesn't really affect him until it's someone that actually can get inside his head to see, oh man, I really am an asshole. Maybe all the stuff I have been doing has been very stupid and moronic and idiotic, and I really should think stuff through. That's actual development that we needed. And the last thing that is very good about this whole episode is just the tone of it. Instead of it being an over-the-top type of story where it's just monster or sorcerer of the week, it's an actual antagonist that keeps stuff very grounded, very close-knitted, sort of like a big mixture of what I liked about Salem, yet hated about Witches of Eastwick. It had a very gritty tone about how to want it to portray all the evils and dark actions, but also tried to make sure it had a good steadway flow that a lot of people couldn't see right away unless viewing it multiple times. Aside from that, though, the supporting cast did a wonderful job with all the stuff, the antagonist of the episode, although I didn't like how he came out at the end of it all, he was probably one of the best antagonists so far that's come out through the show. Not my most favorite, obviously, but still a good antagonist. And a good way to also segment into how Gwen and Arthur will work out in the future seasons of the show throughout this entire episode going like how Gwen and Arthur's back-to-back -back dynamic during one important scene really does dictate how Gwen will portray herself in later seasons and how Arthur's whole heart and mind and soul will go into being a great king by the end of the series. Where all in all, from what I can really just say, Witchfinder is probably one of the best episodes to try and get back into the flow of things if you haven't seen it in a while, because it really touches on a lot of stuff and really puts you in the whole shoes of if you had something very dramatic happen and you're the only person that can solve it, what can you do with your strengths and talents while also trying to outweigh your weaknesses and faults throughout this entire endeavor? So for that, I would give this entire episode, I would say, a... 8.7 out of 13 with a B plus and a 5 out of 7 star rating. But I will see you guys for the next review next Tuesday. Until then, keep on with the magic, my lovelies.